what's going on guys, Timsey here, and in today's video, we're gonna go over 21 Valcam spots on the map Chalet. There are some pretty good Valcam spots in this video, so let me know down in the comments below which one's your favorite. But anyways, let's jump right into it. So considering every site on this map is pretty viable, we have cam spots for every single site, starting off with Master and Office. The default plant spot is typically behind this half wall, so we're gonna go ahead and throw a cam up to the roof for the sailing of inside of Office. This will allow you to see that specific default plant spot and this cannot be shot unless the attackers walk deeper into sight, so you can see the default plant spot, as well as anybody walking in that K9 balcony door. Moving on from there, we're going to set up a camera for this piano or library hallway. We're going to throw it up to the left side of this default camera. The default cam will get shot, but the coverage from all of the leaves on the wall will cover this camera pretty well. And you can see anybody that's outside of that piano double door inside of the library hall. Now moving on from there, we have an alternative office cam that you can set up. This is actually going to be underneath a cabinet or table inside of office. So hopping on the first cam that we threw, I'm going to go ahead and ping this for you so you know what to look out for from down below. But you can use that light on the ceiling and above us as sort of an indication. But we're going to go ahead and open up the two panels of the floor or the ceiling above us that will land on the bottom side of that cabinet that I was talking about. And as you guys can see, you can see when the wall gets open, if they vault in the breach, if they walk through that canine balcony door or push into office to go for the plant. This camera can see all of that. And from the attacker's point of view, it is so hard to see this camera unless they're proning pretty much inside of office. So you can imagine how good this cam will be when it comes to actually being able to see all of the info inside of the objective. And just to show you exactly what I'm talking about, as I prone inside of office, I will be able to finally see this camera, but it's so hard to see and a lot of the time this camera will most likely not get shot. Now moving on to solar, we need some info inside of here. So we have the default cam of course, but we're gonna set up a camera for the solar stairs. So we're gonna throw it up into the ceiling here, just sort of tucked behind that support beam that's going across. You could see the entirety of solar stairs, which is very, very important. So we're gonna set that one up. You can see the bottom of the solar stairs as they go up. And a lot of the time the attackers are gonna be focused on every other angle. They're not gonna turn around to shoot that out cam. Moving on from there, we have a Valcam inside a master. We're going to throw it up into the northeast corner just by all of these different support beams. And this will be tucked in enough for you to see pretty much everything inside of master as they walk through that solar door to walk in for plant any of the default common spots, such as behind the bed, by the couch, next to the closet. If they open up the wall and push in, you can see all of that. And the attackers can't see this camera until they are walking a few steps into master. So this next Valcam spot is going to be an alternative camera. Instead of placing the one by the library default cam, we're going to place this one right in front of the piano double door behind the second support beam. And the reason for this is as the attackers are pushing towards piano double, they're going to be looking into piano and everything around there. They're not really going to turn around to shoot this default cam. And from this camera, we have all the audio info from them getting close to the piano double door, as well as when they swing that piano double. Now for some fireplace info for the office wall, we're going to go ahead and use the beams above us. We're going to throw it up to the ceiling right around this dark corner here. It's relatively dark and it sort of blends in with the bout cam. Obviously with the blue light, it'll be a little bit easier to see, but you can see the entire fireplace balcony that leads to that office wall that typically gets open when they are pushing this side of the map. Now moving down to the snowmobile garage and wine cellar, we're going to set up our first cam for the blue stairs. So we're going to use all of these different animal statues in order to hide our Valk cam. So you wanna make sure you throw it just right, not too high, not too low, because as the attackers are walking down, they cannot see this Valk cam where it's placed. And you can have all of the audio info as they are walking down the stairs. They're gonna be looking down the blue stair hallway. So they're not gonna turn around to shoot this Valk cam unless they, I guess they see it somehow. But with that being said, you see them as they walk all the way down blue hall. So you know exactly what's going on and how far they're pushing up. Before we jump back into the video, if you guys learned something new in this video or enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video. You guys can always unsubscribe later. Anyways, let's get back into it. Now, I'm making our way into Wine Cellar. This is actually going to be a camera for fireplace. So we're going to go ahead and vault up onto the barrels, break the ceiling above us. Make sure you break both sets of panels above you. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and throw a vault cam right through that hole you just made. This will stick to the underside of a cabinet inside of fireplace. So I'm hopping the default. This is exactly where that camera is right under that little cabinet. And you can see the entirety of fireplace as they go towards main stairs. You can also see the bar hallway that leads to the blue stairs. And this gives you a lot of information and the attackers cannot shoot this drone unless they prone to look for it. And it is at drone height level. But with that being said, this camera gives you so much info inside of fireplace and it is relatively well hidden. 
now that we're back downstairs, let's go ahead and set up a camera inside of Snowmobile Garage. So we're going to go ahead and place it right by this support beam, right where that hole is. Now, I promise you from the outside of the breach, they cannot really see this hole. They have to be sort of elevated. It's very hard to shoot this cam from outside. And this cam, cam gives you great info inside of the objective. You can see that typical default plant by the trash can. So as the attackers walk into the breach, you can hear them. And then if they go for that default plant, you can see them as they go down the stairs as well. You can see them cross the blue hallway. So it gives you a lot of info for the breach as well as the entirety of Snowmobile Garage. Now the wine cellar cam is pretty simple. You just go to the northeast corner of wine cellar and just throw your cam up to the corner there. And that's pretty much it. This one's pretty simple as the attackers are walking through that wine cellar door or if they open up the trench wall, you can use that to let you know if they're going for the plant behind that half wall there. So it's basic, but it gives you all of the information that you need. So I tried looking for a good trench cam, but there wasn't any great spots for these cameras. It's usually pretty obvious and they got shot relatively quickly. So we're going to make our way up West Main Stairs and we're going to use these lights that are all around the map in order to set up a cam for West Main. So we're going to stick it to the underside of this lamp or light. And there are a lot of lights around the map similar to this one that you can use in any part of the map. And this gives you some great visibility. It blends in relatively well with the surroundings as well as the light. And as you guys can see, you can use this to let you know if there are people coming down West Main or potentially use it for a flank so you can go flank towards Blue Stairs or Fireplace. But like I said, there are a lot of lights around the map that we can use to hide our Vault Cam. So we're going to go ahead and use this one inside of Fireplace. So this one is sort of an alternative Fireplace Cam. Instead of the one that's underneath the cabinet, you can use this one instead. And this allows you to see the entirety of Fireplace, but also see the main stairs as the attackers are going down and it's really well hidden considering it also has that tree right next to it with all of the leaves surrounding it. So making our way back downstairs we're going to set up an alternative snowmobile cam that you guys can use so instead of using the left side of the support beam here we're going to go to the right hand side tuck this into the corner and it sort of gets similar info you can hear as the attackers walk into that default plant spot you can hear the main stairs as the attackers are coming down you can see when they're at the bottom of the main stairs as well as when they walk deeper into snowmobile. So this gives you some great info. And as the attackers are walking down main stairs, they're going to look at blue, a rotation hole towards connector. And they're most likely not really going to look up to see this Falcam cam tucked in the corner there. And it will probably go unnoticed. So before we jump onto the Barton Games cameras, I want to point out that there are quite a few cams that you can use on pretty much any objective on this map. The first one being this fireplace cam is going to be great for bar as well as the downstairs. This is another fireplace cam. That can do pretty well with the bar and games and this one is the library stairs cam which is great for the bar as well as the upstairs objective so you can use these for multiple sites and they still work very well now moving on to game as you can see that there's another light and we're going to use that to our advantage we're going to stick another camera to the underside of this light to have some info in here as well now i show a few of these in this video and if you guys find more that you want to use definitely use them there are so many lights around this map have that same design so you can use that to see everything inside of the objective or around areas of the map that you need information on. So moving on to the bar, we're going to set up a camera on the south wall of bar. We're going to use these shelves here. Just stuck it up into the corner. This will allow you to see the entirety of bar. If they go for a plant, you can hear that fireplace to bar doorway. And this gives you overall really good visibility inside of bar. Moving on from there, we're going to have another camera that we're throwing through the floor or ceiling above us. It's going to be a camera that sticks to the underside of a cabinet on the fireplace balcony. So open up the floor like I do. Make sure it's completely open so you can throw the camera right through. That'll stick to the underside of this cabinet that is top fireplace balcony. So you could pretty much see the entirety of the balcony from here. And the attackers cannot see this camera until they prone to shoot it. And like I said, you can see all of top fireplace balcony towards the library door towards the library hallway so this gives you some really good info for the others for this objective if you guys would like to support us in game make sure to check out the esports section on the in-game store and go to the astralis tab and get your hands on the two disrupt gaming in-game weapon skins as well as the two charms anyways let's get back to the video and the last cam that we're going to set up for this objective is going to be a library cam so those of you that watch the villa Valk cam video you will notice that this lamp looks pretty much identical to the one inside of dining on kitchen dining for that objective. So we're going to throw another camera just like so. You want to make sure it sticks to a 90 degree angle. You don't want it to be angled slightly down like it is here. And just like so, you want it to stick to the side. This will give you the best visibility while also being as unnoticeable as possible. So that the attackers that are outside this library window, a lot of the time they're not really going to look left to that lampshade. So they most likely will not see this one. 
but the about cam gives you so much visibility into people hopping in on library windows if they're opening above opening the hatch pushing the library connector to top fireplace this gives you so much visibility and definitely useful for this objective so moving on to kitchen and dining, the first cam here is going to be a dining camera. And as you guys can see, there is another light that we're going to use. So stick it to the underside of that light. And this gives you great visibility inside of dining, whether they're pushing that dining door, open up the dining to fireplace breach and go for a plant. You can see pretty much everything in here that you need to see. Now we talked about that West Main cam for the basement objective, but we're going to use that again for the dining objective as well. So we're going to go ahead and throw that same exact camera. It's very important for this objective with these two West Main windows as well as the West Main stairs. So keeping an eye on those three entry points is very, very important. Moving on from there, we need some info inside of Trophy. So we're going to tuck a camera right next to the support beam going across the roof. This gives you some good visibility in here while also being relatively well hidden. Now, an alternative that you can do is just to throw it into the northeast corner right over here. If you'd like, it gives you more info, but it also is a little bit easier to see. So kind of use whatever you're feeling. And last but not least, we have a camera for kitchen. So we're going to use these lights or lamps above us to hide our cameras. Now, it's a little bit hidden, honestly, not too much. So you can either use this, it might be noticeable for the attackers when they're walking into kitchen. So an alternative that you can use is just to tuck it up above the shelf there or the cabinet there in order to have it in sort of a darker corner of the room. And that'll allow you to see the entirety of kitchen and it's a relatively basic kitchen camera. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for me. If you enjoy the content that I post on the Astralis channel, make sure to check out my socials, which are on screen right now. If you guys want to check out any of the other content that I make, but with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.